welcome to this new video today i'll share with you the art supplies that i took on holiday to austria let's start off with the watercolors that i took with me um i took two watercolor palettes not because you need this many <laughs> but because um we were uh, going by car and we had enough uh, space to pack as light or as um, big as i wanted to and i c couldn't decide which of these two i wanted to take with me so first let me show you the brushes that i took i took these uh carandage uh, watercolor brushes these are the favorite watercolor brushes um i have tried so far and they're really easy to put water in because you just um pull on this and then it fills with water when you hold it in a cup um and by pressing these two um push buttons the water will flow out so i have two sizes a small one and a medium one and those are the black one and the blue one so let me put the so really great brushes to take with you i did a lot of sketching um, in the little living room we had an apartment with the people that i want, went with and this was just the easiest way then to take a cup uh, with me for using my watercolors so by using these i it was really easy to sketch wherever wherever i wanted to in the house i sketched in bed i sketched in um the little corner in our bedroom i sketched in the living room so i even sketched some in the car so i got two watercolor palettes this is my main watercolor palette um, and I will put a the video in the cards so you can find that on my channel. It's a recent video that I did. Here you see all of the <laughs> really nice colors. A lot of granulating special colors. Not the best mixing palette, but a palette that sparks my inspiration. And I really like this palette because it has... A lot of colors in it and it is very sterile so I got that one and I also took this one it says Daniel Smith on the top but it is not filled with Daniel Smith watercolors in here I have my uh, in here I have my full pen watercolors Um, most of these are Roman Schmals I love Roman small watercolors. Some are White Knights, like this orange and this green. This is the Olive Green by White Knight. It's beautiful. It's I really recommend that one and White Knights are in super expensive watercolors. And I also have some white gouache in here and then some um, Daniel Smith watercolor in a full pen and also some Rembrandt watercolors in full pens. Um, but in the future, I think this will become my uh, Roman Schmal watercolor palette um, because most of these are already Roman Schmal and I really love using Roman Schmal watercolors. So that is the second watercolor palette that I took with me. And on some nights I used the other one and some nights I used this one. Sometimes I didn't use them and sometimes I used them both. And because in here I have a lot of uh, the granulating colors, I don't have a swatch card for this one. If you want to see a palette for this one, please let me know and then I can make a little swatch card. Even though this one is probably going to change in the future. So, those are the watercolor supplies that I took. Now talking about sketchbooks and paper. I took this watercolor Fabriano um, paper. There's a new sketch on here, still working on that. Um, and 
the reason why I took this one is because I thought it would be good to have a water uh, color paper with me because in these sketchbooks the the paper is not watercolor paper but just like sketching paper good paper but sketching paper and um i really like the square size of this paper and it wasn't super expensive so if i accidentally uh forgot it it wouldn't be that big of a problem um and there's 12 sheets in here so this is the fabriano watercolor paper and um this one is the 200 gm versus the 300 i have both this is my favorite watercolor paper range so and it is glued to the sides except for one corner corner so you can easily rip it out of there and i'm working on a night sky I'm going to paint a little house here stuff it like that And here we have the two sketchbooks that I took. I uh, I made a sketchbook especially for um, when I was there. Um, the art creation sketchbooks are quite thick, so I didn't finish it in Austria, um, but that's fine. Uh, I started off with just a little bit of a diary sketch food that my mom made and my dad made in the car uh, some things that I looked out of the window that I saw like all of the cute little houses and the people I went with I sketched them roughly some flowers this was a plant near our little apartment that I sketched some flowers and this was also in the car home so I didn't really sketch in this one so much um, and I was sketching the things that I saw out of the window some fruits another house and then I was back home and I went on a little tree uh, collection spree <laughs> this one isn't finished yet and then I started drawing dogs and cats <laughs> so that is how much this little sketchbook is filled so far and it's a new favorite size now I already had a little sketchbook like this in this size um, but I just stopped filling it. I don't know why. But now that I took this one with me on holiday, I really fallen in love with this size. Also, I took this big sketchbook with me. Um, and I really enjoy using the art crazy sketchbooks. Some of the sketching that I did on holiday was this page with people. Um, also some more flowers. Um, this is a sketch on the mountain here. I've been using, um, making doodles little doodles then here i was home again i was painting dogs so i didn't do that much art but i was happy that i took it with me so that leaves us to the pencils and pens that i took this is my big pencil case so i took some magic pencils from Koi Noir, Koi Anor with me because these are very uh, good for sketching and creating interesting effects without using more pencils. I took quite some colors like these one. I also have a video about these pencils on my channel if you're interested um, then we have a 
charcoal pencil by Comte à Paris and this is a charcoal pencil also great for sketching then a Faber-Castell bit artist pen in my favorite color indigo dark indigo a jelly roll pen a super small dark indigo uh, pencil by Carandash, the luminance pencil and this is my favorite sketching color and it's a dark indigo it's almost black but still it's blue um, a brush pen by Tombo a sketching pencil by Blackwing didn't use this one at all <laughs> a micron pen and then a mechanical pencil also didn't use this one. <laughs> oh well yes I did use this one so this is just like your random sketching set uh, also had a pencil sharpener in here I got it uh, a long long time ago in a thrift store so um, it's a second-hand pencil and I don't know where it's from but I had it for a long time and then last but not least I have my pencil pooch and I can leave I will leave a link down below for the Dutch viewers who are interested in this particular pencil case because I got it from Marktplatz which is an online selling place here in the Netherlands and someone made this herself and I could um, give uh, I could pick the fabric that I wanted and I could pick the size that I wanted and I decided to get the biggest size that she had look at this beautiful fabric it's like a bird kind of bluish toned fabric and then it's a double and I like this pencil because I like this pencil case because all of my pencils are good very easily organized and also good protected because they are so snug in this um, pencil case and here is another beautiful fabric and um, when I go on holiday I always take this pencil case with me but also at home I use it a lot because it's an easy way to organize my pencils but it also doesn't take too much pace um, when I stock it because you can put it in this little sock format and um, that is better than for instance a wooden box because it takes up way more space and I am a person <laughs> that likes to sketch everywhere in our house <laughs> so I sketch on the couch I sketch in bed I sketch in my sketching place at the dinner table I sketch everywhere and I also still go to my parents a lot and then I sleep over and also want to take my art supplies so this sock <laughs> is really good for me so now what is in here um, you can see all the pencils that have a single slot are either the Carandage luminance pencils or the Derwent Lightfest pencils. So they are just my most expensive pencils that I have. Um, the most beautiful, like chic pencils. So I organized them like this. And then in these bigger slots, I uh, asked the lady who made this to make bigger slots here because sometimes I also like to take a busk pen or um, a brush pen, like bigger things than pencils. So that's why there are six big slots, but I discovered that they're also great to put like sets of pencils. Now I have the Derwent and um, Derwent and 
Garand Dash pencils here. And then in this slot, I have my all of my um, Durant drawing pencils. So they have three slots. It would be more logical if I put these here, but I didn't. I don't know why I didn't do that. But this is how I took them with me. I have one Inktense pencil. I just tried the Inktense for the first time. Um, and I picked up this Sherbet Lemon. But it's like a lemon yellow with a hint of green to it. Then here I have my Mordurant pencils. Um, my Derwent Graphite Tint pencils. And I got these all open stocks. All of the colors in here I uh, bought open stocks. Um, and I have five of those. And I also really enjoyed them. And then here I have a new discovery. Which are the um, Fabric Castell Pit Pastel Pencils. And these are soft pastel pencils. And I... Oh. And I love them. The only downside to this one is that they don't have a color name on them. They only have the numbers on there. But I would, I really look like color names. So I'm missing that here. Um, and I also have quite some already of these. Um, and also pick these up. Open stocks. And like to sketch with them use them so yeah that is what it is in my pencil case if you want to see a deep tour of this pencil case where i swatch every single color that i own talk a little bit about why i like that color so much please let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye